Historic Pioneers in Space Travel. Hi everyone, welcome back to Wacky Universe. I'm your host, Jay. Before we could make it to the moon, scientists needed to create the framework of math, physics, and engineering that could get us there. After all, it's rocket science, not Rome. The space shuttle wasn't built in a day. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all our upcoming videos. And if you end up enjoying this one, hit the like button before you go. 6. Johannes Kepler A staunch believer that the planets revolved around the sun and not the Earth, Johannes Kepler was the first person to accurately describe planetary motion. He studied recorded locations of the planets to understand the solar system, but Mars had his main attention. Our neighboring planet appeared to occasionally move backward in retrograde motion, and no one could understand why. After years of research, Kepler uncovered the truth. The planets revolve around the sun in elliptical, not circular revolutions. Thus, Kepler's three fundamental laws of planetary motion were born. Even today, scientists use his equations when calculating the orbits of planets and satellites. 5. Isaac Newton Who knew that when Isaac Newton watched an apple fall from a tree that he would create the stepping stones for man to defy gravity and make it into orbit? Newton's three laws of motion, published in 1687, became the basic principles of modern physics. With the help of Kepler's third law, Newton was later able to use these laws to create his theory of gravity. These laws later allowed scientists to understand not only the forces of space, but the capabilities of combustion and propulsion, which are essential parts of rocketry. 4. Konstantin Tsiolkovsky Although he never went further than the theoretical, Russian schoolteacher Konstantin Tsiolkovsky is one of the first true pioneers of modern rocket science. His 1903 exploration of the world's space with reaction machines was the first working proposal for space travel, using rockets fueled by liquid hydrogen and oxygen. This proposal also contained what is now known as the Tsiolkovsky formula, an equation that explains the relationship between rocket speed, gas fuel, and mass. His theories and formulas are still used over a hundred years later, so it's clear why Tsiolkovsky became known in Russia as the father of theoretical and applied cosmonautics. 3. Robert Goddard In 1919, Robert Goddard claimed in his treatise a method of reaching extreme heights that rockets could one day be used for humans to reach the moon, and he was made a laughingstock for it in the press. Still, he never stopped working towards that dream and put his theories to the test. On March 16, 1926, he launched the world's first liquid-fueled rocket, which rose 41 feet in the air and traveled 184 feet. Goddard knew he was on the right track, so he moved to Roswell, New Mexico to continue his rocket studies. From 1930 to 1941, he built and launched increasingly complicated rockets that moved forward both rocket propulsion and navigation. While he didn't live to see the Apollo 11 launch or the Roswell UFO, Goddard received vindication posthumously for his belief in human engineering and is now recognized as the father of modern rocketry. 2. Hermann Oberth Romanian-born Hermann Oberth realized his calling early on in his life, and by the time he was 14, he was planning the design of a recoil rocket capable of reaching orbit. During his time in university, he taught himself about gravitational pull and liquid rocket fuel, something no one else around him was researching. Like his contemporaries Tsiolkovsky and Goddard, Oberth realized independently the achievements possible with multi-stage liquid fuel rockets. Unlike Goddard three years before, however, when Oberth published his The Rocket into Interplanetary Space in 1923, his declaration of space-capable rockets earned him acclaim rather than mockery. The book proved to the world at large that these rockets were the future. Up until his retirement in 1958, he aimed to make his ideas a reality and worked with both Germany and America to develop liquid-fueled rockets. Due to his great influence, Oberth is also regarded as one of the fathers of modern rocketry and astronautics. While there's one more space pioneer to discuss, there are so many more I couldn't get to. Is there someone not on this list you wish had been? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 1. Werner von Braun Since he was 17 years old, Werner von Braun dedicated his life to rocket science in the hope of one day taking humans into space. On October 3, 1942, he launched the world's first spacefaring rocket, the V-2 ballistic missile. 
Following Germany's fall in 1945, von Braun joined the American Space Research Program and used his work on the V-2 as a springboard for future American rockets. He helped launch the U.S.'s first satellite into space in 1958, quick on the heels of the Soviet Sputnik the year before. With von Braun leading the development of Saturn rockets in NASA's Apollo program, he finally succeeded in what his predecessors had only dreamed of. He took man to the moon, 